All right, today I'm gonna show you how to fop coat your house. If your house looks like this and it's stuck with it, hasn't been painted, you can fop coat it and make it look good. Make, you know, refresh the color, and make it look like it was a brand new stucco job. Contrary to popular belief, you can't change the, the color on your stucco to another color. You gotta pick something similar to it or else you're gonna get a lot of blotchiness. If you take a look around, there's a lot of spots that are just, you know, this color, mostly because of the rain hits the floor and bounces onto the wall and, and in the long term ends up staining your walls. And it's mostly towards the base of the house. This house is about 10 years old. First step to fog coating, first you gotta mask everything off. See on the floor we got 30 minute paper. On the windows we got uh, tape and plastic. That's to keep any staining from the fog coat to your actual windows and your floors because the fog coat will stick to concrete. So you gotta be careful with that. Three. Step number two, you wanna get your little brush like this. and scrub it to the bottom of your stucco. You don't want any dirt on there because or else the uh, fog coat won't adhere to the wall. So you go around, scrub all the bottom, make sure there's no dirt on there. Just make sure it's a clean surface. And then you're gonna be ready for some fog coat. Step number three is the mixing. Uh, Omega stucco, this requires two parts uh, fog coat to five parts water. So I already got it pre-mixed, you know. So you always wanna put your powder into your water. mix that up and you want to let it set for about 10 15 minutes that way it starts setting in you want to mix it like this just about uh, three to five minutes just to break up all the clumps and balls So your next step is get you a paint strainer. Now this is very, very important. If you don't have one of these, then your sprayer is gonna get jammed up and you're not gonna be able to use it. So this is a very, very important step to this process. So you grab one of these, you put it over your bucket. Just like that. And this has already been sitting here for about 10, 15 minutes. take out the strainer and this will get rid of any big chunks that are in there that's, that are gonna clog up your pump right in there and what I like to do is I get me another one of these I fold it in half and I put it right over the top of here and I put the bucket in here just in case you get any overspill it'll stay in there you're not gonna make a mess and track it all over the house that just like so you get your liquid your fog coat you just pour it in there slowly my steps get ready to start fog coating so you want to start at one quarter and kind of 
kind of missed it and go in a circular motion all the way across the wall. You don't want it, you don't want it to drip, so don't put it on too heavy. And what you gotta do is you gotta do a couple coats. Do one coat, one light, wait for it to dry, then you come back and do another one. So you want to keep this going all the way across. At first it looks like you're not doing much, but after you get a few coats on there and it dries, you're gonna start seeing a difference. After two coats of fog coat, this is what it should look like. If you see down the wall, the bottom and the top is all nice and uniform. You can no longer see the water stains that were towards the bottom of the house. 